everybody in. Uh, uh, hold on. God damn it! I I need a I need a hair. St stay. I can freaking see the hairs just like flopping. They're just creaking it. I need a haircut badly. You sick. God damn. It. Hoping for a nice calm entrance, but whatever. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another unboxing video. But it's not for a dinosaur. <gasps> and a collective gasp fills the courtroom. I know, shocking, right, isn't it? But to settle your terror and fears, don't worry, it's still of the Jurassic kind. But what does that mean? Could it be uh, another uh, aquatic reptile or- oh, God damn it, get out of my- Ah! Got a hair- Ah! If I get attacked one more time by my hair, I'm gonna go- Is it gonna be another aquatic reptile like Plesiosaurus? Or, or, or even a hybrid like a Scorpius Rex? No! It's not gonna be any of those. It's going to be, well, I have them right here. So let's just, let's just get the drum roll actually, the, or, you know, you can do it yourselves. It is the, da -da 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 ow, I just smacked it on, I am not very coordinated, you see. It is the Jurassic World Primal Attack Sarcosuchus, which, you know, I'm kind of questioning myself on unboxing this, because realistically it's been out for over a year now. Except, it only recently arrived here where I live, which... Good God. Mattel's gotta work out their shipping, don't they? Because most of the things that we've already unboxed, probably people in America, and... Well, definitely in America, I know that, because most of them I had to order from America, for God's sake. But, most of them have already arrived there like months ago or for this guy probably a year ago and well we are doing the sarcosuchus not the dinosuchus which for some reason like i've seen a lot of posts on instagram of like guys who like you know take pictures of the toys and stuff you know doing certain things and for some reason everybody keeps saying this is dinosuchus it's not it says sarcosuchus and guys if you can't read why are you buying the toy you could be getting a Albertosaurus and say, hey, that's a T-Rex. It's not. It's only related. But we're going to take a look at the box, which there isn't really much to go into. It's just the camp in the background. And then for the back, it shows the toy doing its biting feature and its shaking of that. Well, we'll keep that peachy thing. Like, yeah, you can see it. But we are just going to get straight into it, and we are going to release him. And this time, I have the scissors, which, remember, kids, always have a parent's supervision. And if and you're wondering why I don't, because I don't follow those rules. And also, cut away from yourself, and there we go. Oh, that was much easier than, well, any other one. And... Da da! Oh, we don't need this anymore. Bye bye. We have the Sarcosuchus, which let's just get his legs no longer sprawling out. Let's get him into position where they're like flat on the ground. One there, yep, there, there, and then there. There you go. He's now actually proper. And gotta say, it's really nice to be getting a crocodile, like a prehistoric croc. Like, I know people want to see these in the movies, especially because of how popular the Dinosuchus was in... What was that? It was an arcade game, I know, for The Lost World, where, like, there was one level you were on a lake and you played it. I, I can't remember the name of it, but I know it was during The Lost World and stuff. It was famous for having the camouflage car note in one of the main levels. But it's interesting we have Sarcosuchus instead of, you know, that one, because I know that one was Dinosuchus, which... You know, it was interesting, because wasn't he part of Indominus' DNA? Anyway, anyway, you know, we're not here for lame facts. We're here to talk about a t bit of plastic with a hint of rubber, which I'm pretty sure this is the second Sarcosuchus we we've had come out, which I remember there was a brown one, which I remember disliking, because it was just like... It looks really similar to um, Limbo, the Baryonyx, but now it's just, um, you know... It was literally just dark green and then like had a brown stripe on the top. Nothing creative, but this guy, while it's similar, he's got the blue and then the purple on the top. On the face, if you look in close-ups, you'll see there's a nice little 
light purple hint on the face, which I thought it was like a mistake, but then I looked at other toys and it was the same, which looks really nice. It, it really stands out. Like, if say, like, if you had two of these, you could in easily just like paint that away and like match, then you could be like, oh, if you want the male version, well, then you just have to find this guy where he has that nice stripe. And then you got the oranges, which it's a little strange that like right in the middle here where like starts to go down, it's um a bright orange and then it sort of is a reddish orange in certain spots. I don't know why, that's a strange choice. And now I will say the button mechanic, like it works, but like it doesn't have like any like deep grip and stuff, unfortunately. Like I would really like if like I could go, ah, but no, like even if I'm like, like as you can see, that that's wrong. That is, never mind, if like, I can instantly like, you know, pull it away and it's like, the only resistance is because he's got that hook of a mouth, which, gotta say, really like how they made it like, it looks goofy in some cases, like I've seen a lot of goofy looking versions of it, but this guy looks evil and sinister, especially with that crocodile eye, it, it's really cool and, oh yeah, the tail's fully plastic, I thought that was a rubber end to it, but not for this guy. And I gotta say, this guy has pretty good articulation stuff, like the neck, like you can make him turn his head a little bit, which depending on how far you go, it like limits how open the mouth is, unfortunately, a little strange. And then when you close it, it goes back to straight, which that's a little strange. Like, so if you like want to have it, him like sort of, oh, go to the side, you have to do like what I just did. You can't just have him go because it only goes part way. And then when you close it, the mouth is resist, the joint is resisting and is trying to go back straight or to its neutral position. But also it's got this and gotta say, he's a pretty simple toy, no sound effects, which did surprise me and stuff considering he came from the same line as Toro here, which speaking of which, let's grab Mr. Toro, which, oh my God, he is freaking huge. Like, let's see, let's measure them. Are they the same length? I th well, the croc's a little bit longer, like, especially if we go like that, yeah, he's a little bit longer, like, tails are, like, the same length, almost. He's way thicker, obviously, but, oh, imagine, like, a kid's gonna love this, like, Karno's going to the water, crocodile, Sarko comes out, and lunge, well, lunges, bites him on the neck, oh, and takes him down, nom, nom, nom. And, oh wow, that's got a nice grip actually on this, never mind, it's just that, like, now he's just, he's like, I'm just gonna take this guy, he's going nowhere, bye bye, oh, damn it, yep, there it goes, but anyway, we'll, we'll just put you back, Toro, and, like, stay, don't fall again, I know one of your legs is broken, but still, stay, there we go, so, in conclusion for this guy, like, there's not too much to go into because like there's already been a second version and I'm pretty sure there's rumors going around that there's going to be one for the third wave of Dino Escape. Like, I think it's going to be one of the massive biters like Stegosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus, which I do have one of those I'm getting soon. But I'm pretty sure like for the... I'm pretty sure there's rumors going around that it'll be in the third wave along with Aloe and... Um, some other guys, I can't remember what they were, I think, I know Aloe is, like a Battle of Big Rock version, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I, I don't think I'll be, I definitely won't be getting that, because I only want one of these guys. But, in conclusion, my only downside for this is the paint job is not complete, because he's got no toenails painted, unfortunately. Also, I'll probably do close-ups, of course, for the um, scan code for anyone who, you know, gives a damn for that anymore. Don't even think anybody... Does anybody even do that anymore? Like, they just get the toy and like, oh, I gotta scan it, go, go, go. But leave in the comments if you guys do, because I, I, I don't know. I don't play Jurassic World Alive or any of those app games, so I wouldn't know. But in conclusion, I, I do think it would... Like, I know it's better to for the to toy action to have it, like, chomp down because it's a croc, but I wish there would be a way, like, you know, if you could, like, lock the button and then, like, you know, then it stays closed. But, I mean, you could hold it and stuff, but 
you can't do that forever. But in conclusion, apart from the toenails being painted and a little bit of um, paint mist application mistakes, like especially on the back teeth, like I'll probably show you in a close up, but like some of the back teeth, they have the blue like um, going up the teeth. And also I can see a little bit of blue on the um, jowls of this guy, unfortunately. But all in all, I would say this is a pretty good toy. I would definitely recommend this one for you guys because like it's awesome. I love these prehistoric crocs and I was actually surprised to see that they finally got a toy version. Gotta say, really like it. But anyway guys, that's gonna wrap up this um, unboxing video. We still got more to come in the future, of course, along with everything else. And I'm probably gonna relax on these a little bit, maybe space them out. Well, probably not because I just want to get them all done so I can have them unboxed and like, you know, play with them and stuff because you see I'm, I'm a man child guys I'm not a man I'm not a child I am a man child and I need to have me dinosaurs to play with state of state of life guys you see but anyway guys if you've enjoyed this unboxing I would appreciate the like and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button to join the hunt be safe and until next god damn it I, I knew it. I'm going bald one of these days guys maybe not for the unboxings, but I'm gonna cut my hair one of these days. Until next time, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, all that stuff. Be safe, and, and I'll see you later. Bye bye